That's cool. PDC doing something unique, but for I'm still gonna go with Vici. I feel their lineup just looks way more solid. Yeah, you know, it's hard to really argue against the fact that you got Empower on a melee core, and looks like we need to change our settings again. I do apologize. All right, camera speed. Good. Look at that 2K camera speed for 2K hair. Dota in the office yesterday. And people are surprised that I, I play with this camera speed. It's actually incredibly hard to play. Is that your excuse for being uh, being the way I am? Being the way you are. <laughs> I don't need an excuse for that. H-Y-M hot sauce. <laughs> that's what the Chinese character stands for. Yeah. Hot sauce. 30 hot seconds sauce. to battle. No, that's literally not. It's well, I mean, to be fair. Wow. Something is, yeah, yeah. It's the, first, the first... The first one is it's fire. Fire, yeah. Yeah, which leads hot. into hot sauce. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that is the analysis that we're getting. <laughs> All right, let's quickly introduce who we got. We got Flyby on the Rave King. Demons playing that Warlock. June on the Batrider. September on the Slaughter. And in flame, uh, on the Invoker. Me on the dire side, DDC playing his disruptor. I think, I think begins. perhaps this is best his best hero. Oh, let's see. Is he gonna get the rune? He does get it. H Y M, the hot sauce. Snatching a rune. Yep. Meanwhile, we got uh, Yang playing that Magnus. Looks like he's just straight up jungling uh, with the Iron Talon. Ori on the Ember Spirit, and last but not least, and playing the Life Slayer once again. And honestly, he played it super well last game. Yep. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Is this a thing? Kind of a thing. It's gonna take a lot of damage. I mean, it works. He's gonna have to hit the creeps again. Oh, don't run away! Okay, he hit the warlock. He only got two. I mean, I think it's fine. Hit it again. Got hit again. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. He just wanted to mess up the gorilla, but but now Sanking or Rave King's gonna pull it. Oh, the beautiful pull. What is happening? There's this, there's this stuff everywhere. It's Dota in the lane, or in the jungle. I mean, this is great. Oh, look at demons, he knows. Oh, wait, HYM, a little bit too fast. Wait. There's creeps. Okay, okay, he's got it. Yep. But the equilibrium is pretty messed up now, so I think that's kind of what HYM wanted. So he's good. Behold well, more importantly, oh, mid lane. Oh, Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. But uh, more importantly is that he managed to draw out the, the sentry ward from demons. Okay. So now he doesn't have to actually worry about dying. Sure. And he also got the, the tango off of it, which he definitely needed. There's always a shrine for him as well. Yeah. Kind of out of regen already. Don't think that Yang actually needs it. Alright, he's gonna pop that shrine. Blink Shrike as the skill up. Top lane June. Gonna eat a Thunder Shrike through the face. Last game he went for a 2-2-1 build. Which is not exactly the most common build I've seen on, on Disruptor. You normally just max the, the glimpse. But, you know. I think it I think it definitely helps a lot. Um, I mean, if you look at the number works, right? You start at 40 damage. If the next one is 60, you no. pretty much increase your damage Not on Thunderstruck by 50%. 50% increase, man. Oh, no. Fire Blast going on HYM. Really just harassing him out of lane. Yeah. I mean, he's already shrined. A tool to Even with a Pro Man Shield, taking way too much damage. Surprised they didn't call for a Sunstrike there. I actually think he would have died. Huh, you're right. Well, if he shows himself again, he's definitely going to die. There's going to be a Wraith Fire Blast. Although, I wonder how difficult it is to communicate that quickly. Oh, no, Chinese people are just telepathic. It's oh, fine. they're telepathic? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm Chinese. I'm not. That's right. Ooh, very nicely done. First blood. All right. As indeed this stuff. I am telepathic, dude. He knew where he was walking. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. That was sick. <laughs> No, no, no. The the Abed Sunstrike yesterday was sick. That was just like, that was normal, right? I wouldn't even know about it. I didn't see uh, okay. any of the NA stuff. Alright, you're gonna duck into the jungle. Did stack for himself. Nice, nice camp here. I miss Batrider. Haven't seen him at all. Or rarely in the uh, C qualifiers. And honestly, I think he's a very strong hero, given the correct circumstances. I was gonna say, you're probably just looking at the wrong region. Yep. Because... If I can, I think if just after seeing a bad rider being picked here just once, I'm pretty certain it means that it's been picked. It's been picked. Yeah, it's times. not a, a surprise bad rider Radiance pick. Um, I mean, attack. you can make the argument that given the 
the extended popularity of Nick's assassin in the C region, it, it could explain why Batrider is not seen as often. Okay, that's that's true. All right, Ricky, kind of roaming around, doing what September did last game, but unfortunately for the Ricky, not not finding nearly as many opportunities. There is a sentry mid. That is probably the issue. Yeah. And more so, it's just the lane that he's ganking for, right? Like it's haste. Just... Oh, he got it. Okay. Now he could run around faster, but also do nothing. <laughs> I mean, he's level three and a half, at least. Oh, top, top. lane, Jude. They got him. Uh, they already used the glimpse. Kinetic oh, they're gonna heal. Get him. Yeah, he going All down. right. Very nicely done. And he's gonna pick up the kill. And try when There you go. He hasted around, doing nothing. <laughs> but now he's gonna find September. Rotation is going to come in from the Disruptor, but I don't think he has enough mana, especially Glimpse on the cooldown. War being dropped on the high ground, so Temper now, uh, now is on low ground. He's got us. Does he have the game set? Yeah, he's a yep. Glimpse is going to be too far, and he's out. That is so much wasted time for a VG game. I'm surprised uh, Ember even rotated for it. Bottom lane, we do have Yang finally going back to the lane. He did start off jungling, and looks like he's gone for a very traditional shockwave max build, which I find surprising because he started in the jungle. Because normally in, in, in off lanes, you tend to do rely on the jungle much more. Oh, Sunstrike is going to be there. He does have the skewer, and he will have to pop it. Good force away. Are, are oh, you surprised by the skewer? Wait, 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 is he going to die? Nah, he's, he's dead. Wait, Survive yeah, he's dead. Corruption, but that to this? <laughs> oh, wow. Lumi, do the math. Simple calculus. <laughs> I didn't do the math. That was surprising. Yeah. Did Flyby... Oh, uh, yeah, okay, okay. I, I saw Flyby holding on to skill points. So, uh, I was wondering if he did put in the points into the Race Fire Blast. Man, but... if... Oh, Flyby was holding a skill point. Mm -hmm. I thought you said that, uh... The Magnus was holding a skill point. Oh, no, no. In which I was saying, pre-7 patch, you get that stat to get that oh, extra HP, right. survive that, you know. <laughs> I miss that, I really do. I'm not gonna lie, if he did that to survive, that would be the... That would be the hype, most, man. That would be the most awful play. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. To get stats to not die? Yeah. I think it was worth. You delay an extra point in one of your skills, all of them being yeah, pretty decent. Yeah, you get decent. plus two stats, and you don't die. Yeah, that sounds awful. I'm glad you took away stat points. <laughs> so, so, so players like you wouldn't make decisions like that. And feel smart about it. <laughs> Alright. Smoke, mid. Ember is 6 now, and they have a level 3 glimpse. And HYM is right on top of him. Oh, this is September. Uh, they're so gonna bad. get... Had that set up for September instead, which... Not really the one they wanted, but at the same time, Ori doesn't have to use his triple remnant, so he will have it for you know, the next engagement. Top lane looks like Juden is able to TP away. And N is dominating the lane. We'll see if he does actually duck back for the Echo Saber build. This particular game. Do you, do you think having Empower on your team makes Echo Saber... I, 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 that's actually a very good point. And I then think you that, have RP? I think, yeah, yeah. I think it is. You're, you're right. That burst damage is really strong. Oh, Demons is spotted. He has to be very careful. He's going to get skewered right here. Oh no. They go for Slaughter again. Yep. Slaughter going to get even get better. Tank. Yang doesn't have the level 6 ultimate just yet, which is, it seems to be the pretty common theme nowadays. Yeah, just, just go for the farming skip build. Skip the RP, yeah. Flyby is now level 6. I feel like this uh, Wraith King is so low level, but I think that's mostly because Demons is just sitting in lane, sapping most of the DXT. And I think Demons kind of have to, right? At least till level 6. Yeah, I would agree. Um, I'm also surprised that uh, another way you could do this is just have to fly by just straight up jungle and then just give to the lane to demons. At least until level 6 and then and then the Rave King picks up again. HYM stealing bounty rooms. Yep. Now level 5. He's actually doing pretty good. He's Radiant's holding on to 900 gold as well. Yeah, he's attack. involved in cell, himself in a couple of assists. I think the 2 is actually not showing. Yeah, it shows me. No, no, it show, I, I think he's been involved in more than 2 kills. He might have been in every single kill, but I'm not a No, no, no. Um, the Bat Rider up top was just disrupting. Oh, the true, true. You're right, you're right. Oh, he's going to get glimpsed. Nice. Top tower. So that's yeah. actually one of my favorite things.
Oh, and then September might be going down again. He's gonna get scouted. Yep, That's why by I am. the Ricky. Oh, he, he's oh, on. That hot <laughs> sauce. <laughs> wait, wait, he's moving super fast. I mean, glimpses, glimpses on cooldown, dude. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. That was some wait miscommunication. They could have easily caught him. Yeah, I'm surprised Ember didn't... Oh, Ember doesn't have slight. That's why. I mean, he could have just spirited it and caught him. All right. Maybe they were feeling a little scared under under the tower. True. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not a huge loss. Just a small missed opportunity. You underestimate the the impact of sending a message to a player that's been dying already so many times. I mean, I, I think the message has been sent already. Like, look at how low level he's he is. He's only 0 and 2. The message has not truly been sent until you're 0 and 6. Oh, okay. That's when message is received. I received that message yesterday when I was playing the Pit Lord, dude. <laughs> I just didn't want to play Dota anymore. <laughs> so uh, I know. I know. I had a good time. Alright. HYM rotates around. A lot of rotations, but not many kills. But I can't help but feel that Vici Gaming is... Oh, HYM has to be careful. The rest of the team is kind of close. Oh, he has dusted up as well. Okay. Here comes Flyby. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Oh. Right. No need. No. Saving mana. <laughs> I think if I was in flame, I would have uh, KS that for sure. Like, jokes aside, I think it's actually super beneficial for your invoker to steal all, every single kill possible. I mean, you also get the experience too. Yeah. Or part of the experience if you're, you're Sunstrike. So yeah, I do agree. But I think it was... Either on cooldown or he's just deep unnecessary. He's got Tornado invoked up. Um, it's probably just because of the Ember spirit. Ember, to break his skill. Not exactly something you see too often from an Exhort Invoker. Well, the other thing is that it's one of his best defensive abilities at the current time. Did you see how fast he invoked that? They still caught him. Bet he wishes he had a... It doesn't matter. Tornado Bottom now. lane, the rock has been used, but Seer has already been cast. Flame break to push him back. Oh, the RP though! And now it's only June in a lot of trouble, but he does have the lasso available. In fact, they're dragging the Lifesaver around. Lifesaver can go into creep. Looks like Magnus has already died. Demons with the body block. It doesn't matter if you rage. Oh, he oh, faced through it. And now DDSK comes through. He doesn't oh, have any mana. No, he's dead. He's, he's dead. 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 No Sunstrike. Bye back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my co-caster. Going full retard, as it were. HYM will drop that uh, uh, ult and he'll blink away. So oh, strike. strike. Oh, HYM hot stuff. Thank God he didn't buy back to miss the sun strikes. <laughs> Wait, does coming through. HYM is going to be dead. Here comes oh, Ori. Uh, He's out of mana, but he is going to be doing a lot. And right, the whole team is here. Let's be careful. Well, Bye Bye does have the armlet and ulti. That'll, that'll be it. A lot of players going in. And overall, it's a pretty even trade right now. Both sides fail. It's actually dead, almost dead even. Yeah, it is. I think the big, big point will come next when June picks up his blink, which he's actually fairly close. Uh, whereas Magnus, looks like he's gonna go for a straight blink build as well. Um, I, I thought this might be where you go for either a HOD or even Echo Saber, but he feels like he, he needs to uh, kind of impact the game a little bit more, at least uh, now. I mean, he's already got it, so yep. this is definitely a good pickup. And I feel like people go this build because, uh, honestly, I... Oh, September, gonna get caught here. Lifeslip pops out. The KS from Yang. I think that uh, ROTK plays a very large role in influencing how Magnus is played in, in China. China. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Oh, bye he's got bye. the RP. He's got the blink available. The lasso is gonna find That's the Magnus on the left good, though. side, but no follow up. Yeah. There's okay. no there's no warlock ulti either. The storm's gonna be there and now the shockwave's gonna come through as well. Ember? Sunstrike going to the ember. Ember is dead. June flying through the tree line here. Oh, demons is out. Yep, and now flyby still has more nukes. Here comes the slaughter, giving vision. The glimpse back is gonna compete, but Ricky just got decimated. And is going to be on the run. That level 1 tornado is going to oh, find him. The reincarnation. Reincarnation slope is going to get raged off. And N is going to walk it off. Again, a lot of spells being thrown. But CDC making the defense much stronger. And they don't lose anybody. Well, apart from the reincarn. But, you know, that's kind of free. I mean, to be fair, reincarnation is a big deal. The long uh, cooldown. Yeah. yeah, it's such a long cooldown at level 1. But I was really surprised that... CDC made that work so well for them, considering 
considering how bad it looked, in my opinion. Yeah, like, like you like said, lasso, no, no rock, lasso, nothing. But you can never underestimate Dyer's Invoker, Flame, and uh, Flyby putting out the damage. Well, I think a large part of what that was, Vichy Gaming was kind of like just in a very awkward spot, like in the trees, under the tier 1. Yeah, I agree. With and then CDC had easy reinforcement. They had a person get glimpsed back, but still, it didn't matter. Like, it felt like CDC just had the number advantage yeah, the whole so time. September got glimpsed, but I mean, he could really got off his, his crush. Yeah. Did his job. Radiance bottom yeah, tower. But like you said, it was a very disjointed fight. I think there was just a lot of miscommunication in uh, spell targeting. You know, there was a disruptor ulti attack. on top of demons and, and the bad rider, but everyone else was. Attack. Fighting on the other side, Ember Spirit was like on his own behind the tower. Yep, yeah, it was just very chaotic Dyer's all over the place. Now I'm personally part. been much more Radiant's used to seeing Ember going for the Veil of Discord first, Dyer's and this game, or he's going for the straight attack. blink. Can you kind of talk about the differences and perhaps Dyer's why you think he, he's forgoing the burst damage? I think he's probably oh, just setting smoke. up immediately broken. Hym, we'll have to. Oh, Sunstrike is on point. Bang, Ori. Oh, wow, they even committed the uh, last lasso. Yeah. Is under attack. I, I think for the time being, I think he's okay with just uh, setting up for his team right now because he does have a disruptor Radiance on his team, also has a Magnus, attack. as Radiance well as the, uh, the Ricky. You know, you can always just blink in, searing chain someone, and then let Yang skewer him back so Radiance that it's not as difficult. Oh, oh DVC. Thunder Strike here. The rock's gonna come oh, through. They don't, rock and they don't have Lasso off. to follow up. They are gonna get one for sure. DDC. Okay. Is, is that worth the one rock though? I'm not exactly sure it is. I also found it surprising that June was making such an aggressive play to defend his tower and then DDC the falls for it. They had to know that he doesn't have Lasso anymore. Hmm. I think I think it's actually overall, I think it's actually okay. Alright, they're gonna oh. go for Flyby, Flyby fly fly does not have that O, and the combo dead. is going to get dropped on him. He is Unless absolutely dead. Can arm the toggle <laughs> under that flame guard. And, uh, yeah, reincarnation still down for a full minute. Oh, after that pickoff happened, uh, overall, I think uh, Vichy comes down on top with that. They do end up taking that tier 1 as well. Dyer's Are they going to go straight into Roshan? Uh, they will try. This is a really good play. I, I thought the CDC would have considered it instead, after picking off uh, DDC. Bat Rider is coming in. Let's see if they have vision of the bat. Does not seem he, like he it. has very little mana though. They cannot. He's not gonna be able to go in with uh, only 200 mana. All right, Dyer will go back to the shrine, smoke up, and immediately be on the hunt again. June just spamming out his shrine, saying they're gonna come here. They're expecting them yeah. to come here. They're correct here. Do they have vision? Is the question. Hym. Blinks in, pops the ult, and looks like it's gonna be Slaughter in a lot of trouble. He just dies. They had the hill advantage. Tornado's oh. gonna pick him in the air, but the storm is gonna glimpse him back. They don't want to glimpse him back because they want the kill. Inflame a lot of trouble. Inflame's still alive. Now he's dead. And now it's gonna be the Rave King inside the cloud, and he does not have the ult. No, he doesn't he have it does. now. He does. He barely but had it back. That might on. be a disastrous. Ulti. Yeah, it might still be bad for him. He gets completely chained on on the way back. Hym. Popping that cloud, that's a double kill for N. Demon on the left side, he doesn't have to rock, he's also dead. What a disaster what for CDC. A disaster. At the same time, what a great smoke from VG. I mean, the smoke was expected, yes, CDC just got outplayed. They weren't ready for it. June pretty much gave them all the information they needed, but yet they still couldn't prepare in time. I mean, they had the info, but what were you going to do with that? Slaughter... He did have blink, so he can't crush them. June technically could have blinked him, but by I mean, if you if you know it's coming, then at, le at least don't get caught by it, right? Yeah. And Here, let's fight them. But the the rest of the team did not come in at time, right? The Rave King and the Invoker was late. Batrider is now gonna get caught, and Batrider. You know, honestly, that looks like a, is under a tilt, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that June normally would have been caught right there. Yeah, that was like suicidal to farm. I yeah, and it. honestly, I think that sequence of play that we just saw in the last a minute might just be the turning point of the game. Like, just so much that they're going to be falling behind. Rave King uses yet re uh, yet another reincarnation for essentially nothing. Invoker dies.
yeah, yeah, that's true. Dyer's bottom tower okay, well, uh, may maybe, you know, calling GG would be a little bit premature. Because CDEC, despite the, the poor plays that they made, is going to have a shot here. As September will pick up the blink. So all of a sudden, they do have a lot more capable teamfight um, abilities. Does VG have another smoke? They don't. Yes, they do. Uh, DDC just bought one. Oh, he just bought one, right? Okay, yeah. I was expecting them... I'm kind of expecting them to just go for another smoke, because right now they're just that much stronger in a team fight. As long as they look out for the Warlock, I think that they should win on these team fights. That's their, that's their the only worry that they have. Alright, CDC in fact will kind of But they're going to stand themselves. on this hill. Oh, they're going to go in themselves. Okay. Oh, I like this. Dude, this is super aggressive, and I, I'm not sure if they're going to be aware of this. HYM, the hot sauce, carrying... Something hot and spicy I really like this. Is it going to be enough this time? This could be a yes. disastrous fight Agent for them. Even gonna with be the grabbed. Regis. HYM comes in. He's, well, going to go right on the Batrider. Batrider tried to fly through the trees. The rock a little bit late. And that rock pretty much a big waste here. Meanwhile, nice chains here by the Ember Spirit. Catching September. September might still die. Shockwave. One more. No, he's going to survive. On the other side of the fight here is going to be Leisler. Catch out. No, he... <laughs> Whoa, damn. He just got that Rave King. Sunstrike? Sunstrike? No. Not going to hit. And CDEC, despite getting the Aegis... It's not over yet. Alright, it's over. <laughs> oh, that was so close. That's like a fist just on the mark. Death's so I think still Vichy gaming advantage, despite the Aegis. Oh yeah, definitely. They... Didn't kill off Invoker, so he still has the Aegis, but they get two kills off of it. Yep. And I think the big difference in all of these fights is that the Batriders... Can't do anything. Like, he just dies before he, he jumps. I, I think perhaps off of Junes' mistakes when it comes to positioning, but Radiance Middle Tower he needs to make himself a, a factor in these fights. It was just unfortunate for him because Ricky was right on, or had vision on. Oh no, it's Invoker getting caught. Keep in mind, he has the Aegis. What a tornado, though. That catches everybody. The question is, are they going to... I would blink RP skewer this, personally. Well... Oh no, but they're, they're gonna push because here comes CDC, nice blink crush, they won and and is dead. CDC on the right side is gonna get caught as well. Great recovery by CDC. Had they made a move that our next on champion suggested, it would have been a team wipe. <laughs> Alright. Goes to show that you cannot underestimate the amount of damage uh Ray King and Booker does at the moment. Yeah. <clears throat> Especially with that finish Echo Saber. Uh I, I feel like Flyby has really not made his presence felt yet. Um, I, I really think that he needs to get Blink Dagger. I think so too. I think with that pickup though, he is going to be that threat. Because right now he already does enough damage, but he needs the ability to catch out people. I yep. Or would you say that, look, I have a Slaughter, I have a Batrider. Let me just focus on attack. damage slash survivability. Uh, I mean, it's only an option. Maybe... Honestly, I would like, I would like for him to go for you know the more of the pub strat. It's kind of like what Black likes to do on Faceless as Void. Okay. And he goes Shadow Blade. Yep. And I think Shadow Blade is actually pretty pretty good this game because you know you do have that setup. Oh, mid lane, he's gonna get glimpsed, right? Man, oh. that nerf to the lasso range. They <clears throat> managed to draw two. Important, but Disruptor does not have ulti for a bit, so I believe this should be somewhat of an easy tier 1 for them. Invoker is not with the team, but he does have Boots of Travel to join very quickly. And in fact, Invoker is really liking that tornado. He's keeping it constantly invoked. Blink Skewer. Rock is thought out about being cast, but no, on the backside, Ember as well as the Smoke Cloud. They need to kill the back line. Magnus. Magnus, yeah, not gonna be dead. He will go down eventually, but here comes the Invoker, drops a big meatball. They're gonna focus on the end. The lasso's gonna be there. They do find Ori, but there's no damage being focused onto Ori. They want end instead. The entire Radiant team is focusing on different targets, and as a result, they're gonna get neither. Deny the mid tower. Middle tower has fallen. All right, gotta say, Ori game saving initiation or
at the same time, I think it's a really tough choice for CDC. I, I, I don't know if they should have actually taken the fight there, especially after Warlock died. But I mean, your, your Rave King just got pushed in yeah, with the green card, and you kind of have to go. Yeah. Because if, if you don't, he, he goes team, team. Link, All right, Sunstrike. Did they amp him? They did. Yeah, but the Sunstrike shared uh, damage. Otherwise, Never I think he would have died. All right. given. And once again, in a fight where I felt like Jun unable to do too much, I think it's actually rather Vici's great like they, they have just not been initiated upon, right? They're the one that's also always finding the, the good fights. Oh, they dropped the rocket bottom. Uh, okay. I don't know if that is the play. Your rock is dead. You do not have it any longer. Yeah. Vici just walk away. They're probably... Oh, no, there's no shrine. I think demons Dyer's expect them, like the fight attack. to develop more. And he kind of, you know, picnic dropped the rock. Regeneration. In a scenario where he, he thought he was going to die for sure. Is that the case, though? I feel like that. Hmm. I mean, the rest of this team is pretty far away. Yeah, I don't know. I find it, it hard, yeah. It was a dubious rock, nonetheless. <laughs> On the bright side, he is still alive, at least. I mean, this, uh, this ricky lifestyle combination has just been doing way too much. They're trying to find another hero, but the rest of Radiant... Oh! Demons is somewhat close. No, he's just oh, that CP. Oh. Wait, they see oh, him? Juice, huh? Nope. Oh, Juice, huh? dead. He's got a force that, but the open wind slow is still gonna be enough, and that's Man, gonna kill. Man, that is so... That must be so frustrating. <laughs> you just TP in. And there's a Ricky Lifestealer right behind your, your tower. Dyer's that is so is depressing. Attack. And... Because they're, the bad rider is dead. Two towers so far. I would wouldn't be too surprised if they uh, go for the mid one as well. Oh, or he's just skipping Veil vale altogether. He's going Lincoln's next. The one cycle. I mean, I have I have seen a lot of embers. Uh, Going to catch the back line, for example, focus on uh, the Warlock like we see in the last fight, or, you know, just applying stun and disable. He's not throwing his body in there to apply as much damage as possible, which is what Veil vale build does. So, I really like the fact that he's got a different item build, and he's different uh, kind of playstyle is reflecting that item build. Right now, I think VG need to focus on catching Captain's Invoker. Invoker is... By far the the most threatening hero for them on CDC. Right. As long as they kill off the Invoker, I'm pretty sure they'll be allowed to do whatever they want. But they have to find the Invoker. That is what is uh, truly important. Well, he is in the trees and he's pointing out. I think he feels and understands the current situation. He knows that if he dies, that's uh, gonna be a lot lost. He goes down. Well, Flyby is gonna just tank up. I'm gonna get AC instead. I'm not sure if AC is the answer here. Cause honestly, like... If he spent his reincarn and he's surrounded, he's just dead. That's kind of the nature of Wraith King though, right? I mean, BKB changes that, right? Blink changes that. Soldier's fortune. I would have much preferred seeing either of those items than... I, I think AC is alright, personally. They, they, have a, they have a Slardar and they also have a Invoker who could give him Alacrity. I think overall it's alright. Alright. Plus they are against a, a life stealer. Use having the armor is definitely necessary. HYM again, always in these little nooks and crannies. Man, life stealer is so far, but he's been sitting inside the yeah. the Ricky for such a long time. 
Which, by the way, the Lifestar did actually opt for the Echo Saber in the build. Yeah. Uh, he does not have Empower bonus currently. So, that's the one awkward thing about this combo. Everyone is just so close to each other. So, they're so afraid right now, because they don't see anything. Alright. They understand that June is up on the hill. <sighs> they are out. For sure. Invoker is just lane to lane. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So, lanes out. even though the gold graph suggests it's only like a thousand net worth lead for Vici, I can help but feel that they're much stronger and much further ahead. Dyer's top tower I is under definitely attack. agree with you there because right now the problem is that CDC, that net worth is entirely on the Invoker. Right. An invoker... And that's why you said they have to kill the they invoker. They have to kill the invoker. Yeah. Alright, here comes the fight. They do see September. HYM gonna get stunned up. And where's the storm? Not gonna be there as yet. The rock, very good one. Backline RP pushes them back in the fight. Reincarnation will trigger a lot of the Vici here. They Still very, the, very healthy. Lasso's gonna be onto the Magnus. Where is N all of this? He's being very slow down under that upheaval. Right now, we're gonna see Flyby really disabled up. They open wounds him as well. They will chop through his AC like it's nothing. Never mind, he doesn't even have the AC just yet. Vici just overrunning CDEC, Jun on the run, blink and chains, and he's That's dead. A That's gem. a gem on the ground, anybody gonna drop it? September comes in, oh my god, that damage output, Demon, trying to ward him away, Ori comes in with the chain, not gonna get the kill, but it did get the gem. And that's, yeah, that's the issue with CDEC's lineup right now. It's entirely on the Invoker, and Yang, once again, just identifying the proper target. He solo RPs Invoker, drags him back, back into the Disruptor ulti, and there was not a single thing he could do. Yep. Doesn't have any defensive item like a Yules or a BKB for himself. And he needs a BKB yeah. so bad. I mean, he does have Lincolns, but that doesn't protect from I'm the combo. I'm kind of surprised why he bought Lincolns, too. I, I don't think Glimpse is the issue for him. I think he, he first saw himself playing much more of a split push game. Which is true, but... And, and the Lincolns would help with that regard, but in the actual fights, Lincoln does nothing. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, I definitely understand that, but I feel like he should have just bought a BKB anyways. If, a B, if you need to buy a BKB and you do find yourself in that, that situation, you could pop. You could just pop it and yeah. still survive. I agree. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of uh, Inflames item choice here. Well, and with that fight, they take the rags, and all of a sudden, Inflame no longer the top net worth. Life Stealer working towards the uh, Abyssal Blade. Well, they're backing off once again. Not exactly sure what they're afraid of at this point. Reincarnation is down. Inferno offering is, is down. I think uh, Ori should probably just start pushing in bottom lane. Yep. Oh, Invoker. If he shows himself bottom, they, they can just go. I mean, they have be he has the BLT, right? So even if he shows bottom, it's not... No, 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 no. They, they know that he'd probably just BLT down here, right? Yeah, so they're just gonna go. Right, they're gonna go. Like, if you see him down there, you just go. At least make him TP here, and now Invoker is making the long walk. Glimpse was cast, I believe? See, so now he's come, Now he's in, but it's already way too late. Tornado is gonna be there. RP on the oh, Invoker again. Yeah. Three-man storm on top. They don't have the kinetic field, but it does not matter. Reincarnation GG. will trigger, and... Well, Inflame is also triggered, so he calls GG. Damn. Yang MVP. Two games in a row now, making some huge plays. First on the Sand King, and this time on Magnus. What a player. Isolate, target, like you said, the, the Invoker is the most